Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are watching this video first time, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to press in the bell icon also. So today, uh, from today, we are starting a new video series on Microsoft PowerPoint. Hoping you will enjoy this series. So uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about the PowerPoint. How can you um, open your Microsoft PowerPoint? Just you have to go uh, uh, in the run uh, by pressing Control Plus, uh, sorry, Windows Key Plus R, and just type Power PNT, okay, and just click in, in the OK button. Now our PowerPoint is opening. Now see, this is the first window of Microsoft PowerPoint and from here you can see there are lots of lots and uh, lots of lots of uh, templates also available you can use these templates also uh, to create a beautiful slide so but if you want to create your own blank presentation first of all you have to click in the blank presentation so it's okay for me so this is the interface of microsoft powerpoint so from here you can learn uh, microsoft powerpoint so let's talk about the microsoft powerpoint so what is microsoft powerpoint microsoft powerpoint is one of the most popular program which is created by microsoft and lots of people are using to create beautiful presentations and if you if you are uh, uh, going to uh, give a presentation in front of uh, seminars and business meeting in that case you can use this software and you can animate your text you can animate your images and shapes and uh, you can even uh, uh, sorry uh, you, you can animate your uh, smart art and chart and everything so without any late let's begin our tutorial uh, now you can see there are uh, lots of large bars available uh, the uh, the first bar is uh, the title bar from here you can minimize and you are make uh, sorry you can make the small screen you can make it full screen or you can close your program also from here and uh, now see below the title bar there is a menu bar so from here you can see there are lots of lots menu available and from the clipboard you can see there are lots of lots sections available like the microsoft word and if you don't know about the microsoft word you can check my playlist i have already uploaded uh, the video series on the microsoft word so there is a clipboard sections slide sections front section paragraph section and drawing section and editing section inside the home menu so first of all we go from the file menu so if you want to create a new or uh, new slide so from here you can create a new slide so and now see uh, it's it's came like the before and from here you can search if, if you have internet connection you can search the template also from here and you or you can use the uh, this kind of templates also and from the open if you have uh, created a uh, uh, slide show before then you can open your previous slide show from here and from the shape you can shape your uh, presentation uh, inside onedrive inside computer in your favorite place you can shape your <coughs> slideshow powerpoint sorry powerpoint slideshow and from the print you can print also you can uh, your your slideshow from here you can choose the printer and how many copies you want to print you have to choose after this or you can choose uh, sorry you can print by choosing the page number also and from here you can share your uh, presentation uh, to uh, using email you, uh, you can present online or you can publish in the website okay and from the export you can create the pdf and express document you can create a video also from here or you can make a cd also you can create handouts also or you can change file type also okay so it's amazing so from here you can close your files from here okay so first of all so i'm going from the new so i'll create a blank presentation and you can see there is an account also available if you have a microsoft account available like this and you can use and from here it will give uh, you will get more features from here and from the options you can uh, uh, use lots of lots of uh, options uh, from here so just wait for a moment 
so let's talk about the home menu so inside the home menu you can see there are lots of plot sections available the first uh, section is clipboard sections from here you can cut copy paste so first of all i'll type something hello hi so i have typed uh, hello so if i if you want to copy uh, this text uh, so from here you have to click in the copy now see or you can directly press ctrl plus c also after this just you have to click in the paste now see it's it's done right and if you want to delete this uh, all the text then in that case you have to click in the code now see it's done and if you want to bring that files uh, be, uh, like before then in that case you have to click in the ondo or you can directly press the ctrl plus z also okay so from the format painter also you can use the same styles like this so just wait for a moment and uh, i am writing from here this is format painter format sorry just wait for a moment format painter sample okay now see uh, here is your uh, my font size is 60 and if i want to use the styles and the colors in in the format painter sample also in that case you have to use format painter so first of all you have to select this one and just go here and from the format painter you can use this okay just wait for a moment it's not working i think i should do select this one and from here just wait for a moment what happened to this i think this one is not working now see uh it's it's came in the same size and styles right so if you want to use these features you can you have to use format better and from the new slide you can create new slide uh, and first of all you have, uh, you have to choose the uh, layout from here uh, now see there are lots of lots of layouts available uh, you can use title slide title and content section header lots of lots uh, layout available but i'm choosing blank now see my uh, before there was only one slide show right now see there is a uh, two slides show available inside my presentation so from the layout you can uh, change the layout of your slide now i'm using the blank and from here you can choose the title and content also you can use section header lots of lots uh, layout available or you can make it reset also like before just wait for a moment if you want to make it reset in that case you have to use this one reset and from the section also you can add uh, sections now see there there was a section available and from here you can uh I rename this one so this section's name is untitled section right so if I, I want to give a name to the sections i can second section so i'm giving the uh, sec the name of the section second uh, slide okay and after this just uh, click in the rename now see our uh slide uh, slide name is changed section name is changed okay and there is another uh, section available that is uh, font section and from here you can increase and decrease uh, the font size sorry from here you can change the font and now see there are lots of lots of fonts available and if you want to change the size of the font you can change from here and if you want to increase and decrease uh, in that case you can use this one and from the clear formatting uh, you can clear all the formatting uh, like before now see uh, before my text was like this so you can make it bold you can make it italic and uh, if you want to use underline in that case you have to use you now see there is underline inside my document but you can press directly ctrl plus b ctrl plus i and ctrl plus u also and there is a text shadow also if you want to use the shadow in uh, inside your text in that case you can use the text shadow also and now see there is a little bit of uh, shadow inside my text and from here you can make it strike through also or uh, you can uh, increase the uh, text space from here you can make it very loose also you can make it tight also you can make it very tight also it depends on your requirement and from here you can uh, change the case from here you, you can make a sentence case if you want to make all the capital words or words in that case you can make it uppercase if you want to make all the small letters in that case you can use lowercase and if you want to 
make a capital each word in that case you have to capitalize each words okay there is a total case also available so from the paragraph section you can use bullets and numbering so from here if you want to use the bullets and numbering you have to use this one okay just wait for a moment now see there are lots of lots bullets available but first of all you have to select this one and from here i think i should use this one it's not working what happened just wait for a moment so i'll did it uh, so i'll go in the slide number two and from here i'll choose the layout uh, blank and i'll bring a text box from here just wait for a moment okay and if i want to use the bullets from here see there is a bullets available right and in the side of the bullets you can see there is a small arrow available and from here you can uh, change the uh, you can use the bullet library also from here there are lots of large bullets library uh, available okay and from the numbering you uh, you can give a number also like this or uh, you, you can make make it roman also you can make it abc also there are lots of lots of options available and from here just wait for a moment uh, you can increase the list level also see and you can decrease the list level and from here uh, you can uh, increase and decrease the line spacing how much space you want to leave see there are lots of lots of options available but now i'm using 1.0 <coughs> and from here you, you can change the text direction from here now see if you want to make it uh, in the uh, if you want to type in the vertical way now see there are lots of lots of options available okay and another of also align text from here you can make it uh, in the uh, middle you can uh, put uh, this one in the bottom okay and from here also you, you can put your text in the center you can put uh, your text in the right side from here you can make it justify also but it's okay so i'm using the left and from here you can uh, create columns also from here okay there are lots of lots of options available inside the paragraph sections and from the convert to smart art if you want to uh, make this uh, text box to the uh, smart art in that case you have to choose this one now see it's converting in the uh, smart art and from here you can change the text also from the text pan and you can give a color also from here now see there are lots of lots of options available right okay and from here uh, you can move down also or you can demote also okay and see there are lots of lots of options available or you can make it right to left also okay and okay it's okay for me so i'm creating another slide also and from the drawing uh, sections you can create lots of lots drawing uh, if you want to create a text box from here you can create a text box like this and uh, if you want line you can draw a line also if you want to circle you can draw a circle if you want to a rectangle shape in that case also you can use this one lots of lots uh, shapes available or if you want to uh, draw more shapes in that case just you have to click in the more now see there are lots of lots uh, shapes available and from the arrange you can uh, put all the shapes inside uh, sorry you can uh, send this uh, uh, shapes in the back side of the circle or you have you can make it uh, to the front also okay and from here you can uh, group your object also from here now you can see uh, if you want to uh, make uh, the both object in the single piece in that case you have to use the group or you can ungroup it also and if you want to regroup you can use this one regroup like before okay from the align uh, you can choose the alignment where you want to put you want to put in the left you want to put in the center or you want to put in the right side now see there are lots of lots of options available and you, you can rotate it also from here okay and you can flip also and from the selection panel you can see how many shapes you are shapes available inside your uh, slide now see there are three shapes uh, shapes available inside my uh, slide number three okay if i click in the slide number two now see there is a diagram 22 <laughs> okay and inside my slide number one there is a two uh, two shapes available okay it's okay for me and 
from the quick style you can give the lots of lots uh, yeah, uh, beautiful styles from here okay and from the shape field you can give a color to your shape now see there are lots of lots color available from the more field colors also you can uh, choose a color and you can give a color and you can use eyedropper also from here okay if you want to use this one just click here and leave it now see uh, now the both shapes uh, are using same color or you can use the picture also inside your shapes from here just wait for a moment it's working and from here you can use a image also from here okay and you can use outline also from here which color you want to use just first of all you have to choose this one now see there is a, a borders available and from here you can uh, give a size also which, uh, which size you want to give and you can give a style to your outline also now see there are lots of large dashes uh, style available and it will make uh, your shapes uh, um, unique and you can use a, a shape effects uh, uh, also now see there is preset available you can use shadow also you can use reflection also you can use glow also soft edges and bevel and 3d rotation also lots of lots of effects available now see you can use it as per your requirement there are lots of lots of uh, 3d rotation also available you can use bevel soft edges glow reflection shadow preset lots of lots of options available hoping you are enjoying my video series and um, now see there is editing section also available from the find you can find your text now see if if I, if I want to find hello you have to type your hello or you uh, you can directly uh, click the uh, sorry you can directly press the control plus F also and yeah uh, now see it's it's uh, showing me uh, where is hello and from the replace you can change this one also so if I want to make that hello in the high uh, sorry hello <laughs> so now see if i uh, try to replace this one now see before it was hello h-e-l-l-o -L -L -O, now it uh, this one is hello <laughs> okay you can replace this one like this and from the select you can select all your text and if you want to select your object in that case you can use this one now see uh, inside my slide number three there is a two shapes available right and from the select you can you have to click in the select and just click in the select object oh sorry just wait for a moment select object and from here you can select this one okay okay selection pan is same like before we we already used in the arrange also uh, this one is same option okay hoping you uh, you understand uh, about the file menu and home menu uh, inside the microsoft powerpoint if you have any kind of confusion uh, you can ask me in the comment section and i'll try to give answer of your answer uh, sorry of your questions hoping you are enjoying my video and thank you so much for watching this video i'll meet with you on another video thank you so much goodbye see you soon